Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forex pisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Today, guys, second research will be also on the forex market, not on gold, uh, because on the forex market, uh, situation right now is a bit more interesting, especially on some currencies compared to the gold market, where we have said everything important probably now with daily video updates. But uh, currently, the situation doesn't demand really creation, creating of the new uh, weekly research on the gold market. So we need to wait a bit more and see what will happen. But at the same time, on some currencies, the situation changes uh, very significantly, and it really demands some update, some adjustment of the uh, vision that we have. Uh, and one of them is the New Zealand dollar. So, guys, those of you who follow our regular weekly researches, you probably should remember that on the monthly chart, our major um, analysis was based on upside ABCD pattern. Uh, so that has happened, actually, that um, Kiwi has erased this pattern on the monthly chart. And this happened has, has happened not uh, really too far ago. It has happened right on Friday. So it, it's really a very important moment in the analysis on the New Zealand dollar because on the monthly chart, we have got not only destruction, of the major upward ABCD pattern, but we also have got bearish reversal swing. After the bearish reversal swing, usually market shows some relief, so some deep retracement. And the major target, major task on the New Zealand dollar right now is to estimate where this pattern, where this relief could start, where to watch for possible reversal patterns, uh, because market right now is turning to some stage where it could start to form some bullish reversal patterns. Also, today we, we have provided in the text version of the weekly research some fundamental background. So this prime minister on the, uh, on the uh, New Zealand uh, said that uh, she's absolutely no, have no concern on the drop on the New Zealand dollar. And uh, Reuters poll suggests that analysis estimation stands for 70 even. Uh, medium price for the Kiwi in the long-term perspective. So market right now stands around it and slightly, even slightly lower. Technical analysis also suggests that somewhere in this area probably uh, we need to keep an eye on the period of bullish patterns. Uh, actually, guys, what is also attractive on the New Zealand dollar, so it could be treated as the sign of weakness, maybe some sign of strength, but on the New Zealand dollar right now, we have only one important major pattern, and this pattern is A, B, C, D extension. Particularly, this pattern points the possible area where market could start show some reversal. And this area stands at 67.50. Uh, actually, we have mentioned this pattern within our recent videos, it's maybe within the two or three weeks probably, even here, when the market has started this bounce up, we said be prepared for a downward breakout because market hasn't completed the 1618 extension. And indeed, this flag patient has been broken. Right now, what we have? On Friday, we see some minor reaction on the elevator sold. Uh, and also take a look at this low stand at 127 extension of the flag retracement. Now, uh, why I'm thinking that it's really here some kind of the moment has come to appearing of some bullish pattern here is because 1618 extension of this large ABCD stands between 127 and 1618 extensions of this retracement. Also, it stands very close to the major weekly support at 6670 area. So for a daily chart, it's a bit not quite rare, uh, uh, not, not quite near. It's approximately 80 pips difference, but on a weekly chart, it's re relatively close, and we probably could talk on some uh, even agreement on the weekly chart. 
So much a conclusion that we could make on the New Zealand law that somewhere in an area of 66.750, we will be watching for a large bullish reversal pattern, probably on the daily chart. What patterns could be formed? First of all, uh, probably we should forget about the butterfly because market already has dropped below this low. So definitely this will be not the butterfly. But we could get reverse head and shoulders, for example, if market will continue dropping right to the 1618 extension and hit 1618 of the ABCD as well. It will just will creep through with the oversold, something of that sort. As you can see, market hits oversold and just creeping with the line. So here is also some, 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 this kind of action could happen. Or maybe market will form some kind of the free drive buy pattern. So you can see it's minor retracement here and it could continue move to the 161 and it's also possible. Um, if Retracement will happen here. Probably it should stand inside of this swing to keep overall scenario valid. For that purpose, we can need to take a look at the flow time from chart, and it's clear shows what level to watch for. I think that's most probable this area, 69, 69, 25. First of all, this is confidence resistance. Second, it accompanied by the weekly pivot resistance one, and weekly pivot resistance is very good indicator of the sentiment. So. Uh, if it holds upward retracement, it means that action is just retracement. Overall, bearish trend is still valid, and it just approves that uh, this is just retracement in the long-term bearish trend. That's why this level is very important. So I think that maybe even minor retracement will be just to the weekly pivot point. But taking into consideration that actually that is not just the oversold, this is also weekly FIP support. That's why I think that maybe some higher action could happen, especially because of our analysis on the euro currency. Because on the euro currency, we also talk about possible upward continuation. That's why a bit deeper retracement here could, could happen. After this area will be reached, we expect that market should show another leg down to complete this 1618 extension. Not necessarily that market will stand precisely on this level. It could be slightly lower uh, because major support stands at 66.70 on the monthly chart. So it will be some fluctuation around 67. But that's an area that we, where we should keep an eye on the possible patients. So as you can see, uh, or yes, the final moment, that um, why I'm talking about this with so much attention to the situation, because this patient that could be formed here will trigger very significant upward bounce. It could be really very significant, five, six points maybe. So it's really, because this reversal swing, guys, on the monthly chart, after that, it usually stands significant retracement. So maybe it will happen on New Zealand dollar as well. But even it, it, if, if it will not, appearing of any bullish patient here on reaction on the completion made of 1618 also could be significant. That's why I think that's worth of our attention, and let's keep watching what will happen on next week.